When I was five, I lived next to a forest that shaped my relationship with the environment. I found that I could rely on it more than any person in my life. When I was sad, it provided a place of quiet reflection. And when I was feeling adventurous, it provided an endless supply of rocks to turn over. This made me see the environment as a friend. And therefore, I wanted to be a good friend to the environment, which at first I thought was easy, doing things like recycling and using scrap paper. But as I got older, I realized that I was having many impacts on the environment that couldn't be alleviated with changes to my day-to-day -day life. This is the case with human waste. The urine and feces we flush down the toilet each day contain nitrogen, which when released in large quantities causes a surge in algae growth, which depletes the water of oxygen as it decays, suffocating aquatic life. The best way to remove nitrogen from water is to use bacteria to convert it into harmless nitrogen gas. Due to the large inflow of bacteria in wastewater, the proper bacteria must be selected by creating an environment that favors the growth of the desired species. This is currently accomplished by catering to three types of bacteria, each catalyzing a step in the transformation of nitrogen to gas. These bacteria are very needy, with two types needing constant aeration, and the third needing a completely air-free environment with lots of organic matter. This is accomplished through the energy-intensive bubbling of air into one tank and the addition of organic matter into the next. Unfortunately, much of the air is lost when the air bubbles rise to the top, and much of the organic matter is washed through. This makes nitrogen treatment a source of greenhouse gases and makes it too expensive for many treatment plants to implement nitrogen treatment. My research aims to address this by allowing the selection of desired bacteria without changing the wastewater. Supplying oxygen and favorable chemicals through a membrane induces the natural tendency of bacteria to attach to surfaces by providing a good enough environment for them to stick around. I hypothesize that this will allow me to replace two of the currently used types of bacteria with a much less needy bacteria that is too slow growing to thrive in traditional wastewater. My system will allow this bacteria to thrive by providing a chemical that inhibits its competition. While well, I realize that this won't erase all my environmental impacts, I believe that five-year-old me would be proud of me for creating a better future for our friend, the environment. Well, I wasn't surprised to learn you were so interested in, in the environment when I learned you grew up in a farm in New York State. What type of a farm was it? Um, it was a small sheep farm, some chickens, a few other odds and ends, but mostly Jacob sheep, which are a rare breed that can have up to six horns. Wow. Did you have chores? <laughs> yes. Oh, girl chores? Oh, yes. Tell us your chores. Well, my least favorite was milking the goats. <laughs> After that was rounding the sheep up from the neighbor's yard when they get out. <laughs> well, that is great experience. I can understand why you got involved in environmental work <laughs> and um, water treatment. Thank you so much tonight for sharing your work.